think I first felt the call to the priesthood. In fact, I know I first felt the call to the priesthood when I was a senior in high school. I remember driving home and we were coming around a curve and I felt for the first time that God was calling me to be a priest. At the time it was very unformed, but it, it brought me deep joy through meeting the Augustinians at Villanova. They helped shape and form what that call looked like and helping me understand my call to the priesthood through the Order of St. Augustine. And the basic difference between ordination and solemn vows is that all of the Augustinians take solemn vows. That's first and foremost for the Augustinians. Then some are also called to go on to serve the church in another way through ordination to the priesthood. My encounter with the Augustinians happened long time ago since I was born in Augustinian parish and the Dominican Republic. I received from them my first sacraments, my religious education. I am Alessandro Martin Contreras, who professes solemnly. My next step is to take solemn vows. I call forth Daniel Leo Madden, who is to be professed solemnly. So I'm making my solemn profession, which commits me to God in the order of St. Augustine for life. I'll make that commitment, but for the rest of my life, I'll be living into that commitment. When I met St. Augustine, I, I just fell in love with him, a human being as I am, and gave me hope that I can be a better person, a uh, better Christian, and I can fulfill the will of God. I suppose as I was discerning, I think, oh, this might be, this is attractive, or this might be good for me. But to really listen to the deeper call, which requires patience, prayer, it requires dialogue with others. I think sharing, this is what I'm feeling called, and hearing other people affirm that in me was extremely helpful. So I would encourage, if someone is discerning, to be patient, to listen, and perhaps to, to share. Prior General of our order, accept your profession and receive you as a member of our order, affiliating you to the province of St. Thomas of Villanova. In the name of Padre, and del Hijo, and del Espírito Santo. My experience with the Augustinians as an undergraduate at Villanova was great. I had the chance to meet many friars. In particular, I think of Brother Michael, who was the first Augustinian I met. What I saw in those Augustinians and in all the Augustinians I had a chance to meet was their willingness to invite me into the way of life. And it was through that invitation that I got to see who they were and what they did and how genuinely they felt for their own call. Something that drew me to them was their dedication for the people of God, the need of the poor. My next step is to finish my studies, my degree in divinity, and after that I will be eligible to request deacon ordinations and eventually a priesthood. Last year, for my pastoral year, I lived in two different places. The first was in a city, kind of on the outskirts of Peru. The second half of the year, I went up to the foothills of the Andean Mountains. From that little town, which was called Morapon, I went with the Peruvian Augustinians into the villages, into the farmlands, and into the mountains to say mass, to visit the sick and the dying, to bless homes and babies, and simply to have a meal with those families in the village. We are all different, and we have different needs, and, and God called us uh, in different ways, so I really appreciate that. I can find that here in, in, in the Augustinians and in, in the formation that I got.